Hi, right, Scott Thistle from Brookstone Homes. I'm here with Brandon Mingan from Dave Jones Plumbing and Heating. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. So we're here to talk about sump pumps today. Yeah. Let's, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here. Well, sump pump basically is uh, it's a pump contained within a crock. And uh, there's some drain tile that goes around the outside of the foundation and inside of the foundation of the house. It all ends up in this crock and any water that comes around the foundation will end up in this pit and the pump pumps it to the outside. Yeah, so I mean basically uh, what we do with these things is that it's it's not it's not a requirement, but it's a, it's a good good idea to put these in here because at the end of the day, when you think about it, you dig a nine foot hole in the dirt, it's pretty much impossible that you're not going to get some kind of water in there, right? Yeah, that's correct. It's a great feature to have in a home because it's a really good safeguard against getting water in your house, especially if you get a real heavy rain that's unexpected. So from a maintenance standpoint, I mean, really, I, I guess in my mind, there's only really two things that could happen. This thing cause a problem. Number one, it wouldn't get power. Or number two, it gets clogged up somehow, right? Does That's that make correct. sense? That's correct. Yeah, basically, you've got your power that feeds the unit, and uh, there's a float in there, and if the float is operating, the pump runs, it's got power to it, it should work just fine. Boy, I tell you, if I was uh, if I was a six-year-old boy, this seems like this would be really cool to play with. Yeah, unfortunately, we see that quite a bit where things like that get unplugged accidentally. Yeah, and if it's unplugged, it's not working, right? That's correct. Good. So if if you know you're in the midst of sort of a heavy rainstorm or so, you should probably come down here and make sure it's plugged in. That's right. What else could you do to make sure the sump pump's working? There's a little plug in the top of this particular lid that you could actually take off. You could dump some water in there and make sure that the unit comes on. Yeah, so a couple just a gallon of water or so. Yeah. And, just, and you'll hear it. I mean, you could actually hear the water running through the pipes, right? That's correct. You'll hear it come on and clicks, and you can feel the pipe vibrate a little bit, and then you'll know it's running. Okay, and then the sort of the, the outtake on this outside really is just dumped outside the house. You'll also see the water coming out of the pipe on outside, right? That's correct. Once it gets outside, it's a good idea to make sure it's converting away from the foundation. Great. How often do you think you should check this thing to make sure it's working correctly? I would say if it was my home, I check it every spring. Yeah, right before the rain starts, right? Exactly. Great. All right, Brandon, well, I appreciate it. It's a lot of great information on the sump pump.